So we will start with today uh, the continuation of the dependence injection in Angular and I know it is going uh, lengthy but uh, let's uh, go one by one step by step. So we finished our uh, uh, third part, right? Uh, what is injector part? Mm -hmm. And then we saw the hierarchy. So there are sometimes, uh, I, I told them like, uh, I told you like it's a scoped, right? A scoped uh, injection, right? But normally they call it like hierarchical dependency injection. injection. So don't be confused when they will ask you what is hierarchical uh, dependency injection, right? So, <clears throat> so hierarchical dependency injection is the same thing that we discussed last time. Like there is a root, and then there are components, and then there is module again, and there are a few more components, right? At this level, if you want to inject something, and you can provide a provider over here for a service A and the same same service A is provided over here also let's say as a provider service A then you will have two different instances of the service A so this is called as hierarchical dependency injection basically that is what we called it like within this uh, and, and the children of this what is the service A is uh, dependency of A if you ask then it will come from here so they will share this instance Right. However, out of the however the other node like this component and this component, they will share. If they need the uh, the service A, they will share the instance of Provider. this service, right? Mm -hmm. Not the this, this one. Service. So that is what it is called as hierarchical dependency injection. So basically, in Angular, you can inject the dependency at any level. Now, even in the tiny div level, also you can inject. For example, you have a small div over here, and then you're showing some name. The small div and which where you're showing the name, even at this level you can inject a dependency. Like one service could be at that level also. Because this div is nothing but a just a single component. And we said or <coughs> what is what is after component also? What is the minimum thing that we can create? That just the DOM level, small thing. What do we call it, right? That is called as directive, right? Mm -hmm. So directive is what where you want to put some DOM behavior, some DOM uh, changes. You are doing some style change or some behavior change or some click event handling and all of that. Whichever you related or to the DOM, you change it in the directive, right? So those directives are also there. Let's say within this module there are some directives, and this directive's job is just to render the name, let's say, and show the name. So even that level you can put some provider and you can inject your service. Right? So the concept of uh, hierarchical dependency injection is this, like you can in inject, you can configure your provider at any level and then you'll get it. Right? So this is what that, um, and I think we already covered this, I'm just trying to rephrase it. Right? <coughs> so this is good. So then we will continue learning on it and we already learned that what is injector. So let's now go, if we know that injector uses whom to get the dependency. It uses provider. Provider, provider to get the dependency. And provider is the today's topic that we will learn. What is provider and what are the different types of provider? So we know that provider gives you the how part of dependency. Mm -hmm. How part means how a dependency can be created. So how part of DI token, let's say, DI token dependency. So for a particular DI token, uh, th there is a dependency required, then how to get that, how to create that dependency, how to e find that dependency, that is what the provider job is. And there are various types of providers, that's what our topic uh, will start today with some types, how many types of providers. Right? Because there are some different different requirements uh, based on that you create the provider. And that is this power I was saying yesterday, uh, sorry in my in our previous session we were discussing that provider is very powerful and this is what I like the feature is like there are many types of provider. But in regular object oriented programming language like C Sharp and Java there is no different types. It's just like you uh, put the interface and put the corresponding class and it will just inject that class in the, wherever you will ask the interface it will inject that class dependency. 
right? So that's the vanilla thing. But here in Angular, you have flavors. Mm. The flavor is like one is type provider. Mm. What is the next one? Use class. Use class one, right? Yeah. Use value. And then third is use value. Use existing. Fourth is use existing. Use factory. And use factory. Excellent. So we have uh, type class. Value and, and existing and existing and factors, right? So these are the different different flavors. <coughs> and let's start with the type provider first, and uh, we'll keep going one by one. So, what is type provider then? Which says the type of the like string or number, maybe. Yeah, or class name, class. right? So whenever we ask uh, class name. And it will give you the dependency for that corresponding class. That is the type provider, right? So how provider is uh, written in Angular? We we write this way, right? Suppose you want to register your provider at component level. So how we will do? If this is a component, and inside this component we are giving metadata, right? Mm -hmm. And inside the metadata we can give a now provider. And this is array, right? Mm -hmm. And in that providers, I can give the list of provide, providers, providers, right? For example, I can give provider, and the name of the provider. Uh, this is the no. the first thing is the DI token. The first uh, attribute which says provider, it's the DI token, and that is nothing but the class name mm -hmm. or the um, DI token that custom DI token. Though are those are the two things you can do. So suppose I have a logger class. I say this is the logger, and how to provide that? And uh, use class yes. or something like that. You can we call it right? Use class, and then we again call it let's say logger, logger class. Use the logger class, right? I'm just going ahead, jumping ahead by saying just use class. But we are learning type provider. But when you end up doing like this, where you are saying use DI token as the class name, and then use class also that same class, then there is a shortcut for this. And that shortcut is nothing but the type provider. What is that shortcut? So what Angular says that if you are end up writing this code, is that not silly? Mm -hmm. Like to repeat the same thing. So what they say is rather than doing this, what you will do is uh, just just say I'll do this way. Like uh, rather than doing this, I'll say uh, I'll not even do anything. I'll just put the uh, name of the logger. That's it. Rather than doing all of this. I'll just in this array. I'll have. I'll not have this. I just have logger in that array, mm -hmm. and logger is nothing but the class name. Mm -hmm. So that means under the hood, it is doing like this. Mm -hmm. Your providers are just configured like this. So provider are used to configure the injector. So the injector can use the uh, data from the provider, right? So injector has a key value pair, and it looks for the token. Mm -hmm. And for the token, it asks how to get that, and that is what provider is saying. Ki, okay, whenever DI token is asked, just uh, just do the new on it, right? When there is a type provider and use class provider, they just do the new on it and they give it. Under the hood, this Angular will do for you. Angular will register this as a new operator. So they will, whenever dependency injection uh, injector will ask provider mm -hmm. for a logger and it is registered like a type, then provider will give you by doing the new, right? And once it is giving you uh, to the injector by newing it up, then injector will save it at the cache. And the next time someone will ask to the injector, it will not again ask. Like I told you, right? Initially, that injector has that in a key value pair. Once it is there, then it starts giving the same instance. It doesn't ask, right? That's how singleton is achieved, right? So this is the type provider where we say now in the type provider, it's just simple. We call it providers, and in the array we will pass the class name. That's it. This is type provider. Mm -hmm. It's very simple, right? So let's next work. Next class. Let's do the next one. Can we turn off and then? Yeah. Okay. 